it's Tuesday morning, two wagons here already for OSR. It's uh, cold, so thick coat, padded boiler suit. Does need a little bit of stitching up on the leg though. It's, uh, it's a bit ripped. Me and Andrew are gonna go and finish off spreading that muck. And then we've got another couple of fields with some little bits in that we can get rid of as well. And then we're all good then for sowing the beans, hopefully. Uh -uh. <laughs> clean because it's only Tuesday. We've also got T20 in and Swinnerton's wagon as well getting loaded. Yesterday morning I did a survey for Precision Agriculture for a student at Newcastle Uni. No, not Newcastle. I've forgotten. Anyway, today Amy Almond no, lives up the road right. and she doesn't want to be in a video. <laughs> but she needs about 100 respondents to a survey on um, the, what was it? Uh, the countryside stewardship scheme. Countryside scheme. scheme. So I'm going to put the link below. So any farmers want to fill it in, that'd be great because she wants to try and get to 100 respondees. Andrew's off now on the fast track. He's going to go and put the muck spreader on. I'm going to go up now on the Merlot and load him. I'm a little bit slower, so by the time I get there, he should be have it on. Yeah, day two of taking the lights off the Zerion. We're just testing them as well to make sure they work before we package them away. Because we're not needing it, it's just been left in the shed and um, just getting round to it. We want to take them off and weigh that rear deck, but um, it takes a bit of room fitting in the workshop. It's been too cold to do it, but it's starting to warm up a little bit now. So Rob's just done with it now. Got a new mount, gonna put it on here, see what it's like with time lapse going to feel eh? They've spread most of this field now, just the headlands to do, and then we'll go into that field, the other side of the hedge. Expect fog to come out the back of it, some steam, because it's still a cold morning. There we go. In other news, this clam worked really well quite pleased with it actually it's metal you see it's not plastic and that's a really good suction cup there's half a round bale here um, so I don't really want to put it in the spreader in case it grabs it in one chunk and does a shear bolt so I'm going to mold it up a little bit with the bucket break it up and then just mix it in we'll probably do it on the last spreader full so if we do end up doing a shear bolt at least it's not it's when we finish basically not sure whether we've got the spanners in the fast track for it. You know what? I'm actually been able to grab it here, aren't I? Because obviously it was bales in the round bales, so they're just a continuous roll. So if I unravel it like this. Chop it up then with the bucket edge. You see. Well, it's longer than I thought this. It's like 20 metres long. Probably could have done it by hand quicker actually thinking about it. No, it's not a bit lighter. Just do that. Just get out and do it by hand. There we go. So unravelled all that now and then hopefully I can just kick this. There we go. It's like a big carpet. 
and I'll just chop it up now with the bucket. Just uh, chop it up a bit now with the bucket. Carpet tiles. Miles and miles of carpet tiles, name that TV program. Right, I'll just grab a little bit every time I load it up now. Pull the little chunk off there now. So I'll then scoop up a bit in the bottom of the bucket. And if you tip it in here now, the beaters will sort of destroy it as it gets near the back and it'll just pull it to shreds, hopefully. When I say beaters, I mean the things at the back that look like teeth. Can you see them there? Uh, can't focus properly. On the back of the machine, there you go, spinning round now, so they'll chew it all up, hopefully. Just finished now, so just buttering the wheel marks out, smoothing it off. Looks like hot tarmac, doesn't it? Or Back to the Future. Just had a couple of loads tipped in the corner of this field from last year that we never spread. This is some OSR. And if you look now, it's just starting to come back to life. It's just starting to get a little bit of new green on it. You can see as well that the curb has worked, which is the spray that kills off all the grass and weeds. So you can see, you see where the spray has turned on here. It's a bit of a jagged line because the nozzle's face forwards and backwards, but it's just, that's not been sprayed. So you've got the OSR competing with the grass weeds, whereas there you can see the grass weeds have all gone brown and, um, and it's all nicely in the rows. So it'll look a lot different this in a few weeks. We've been spreading muck over there. We've just come over the railway now to have a look. This is some wheat, it's, I think it's the KWS champion and it looks like it's winning at the moment. It looks amazing. It's really heavy ground this, but we hit it right in the spring because we spread some muck on it, sumoed it, used a lot of diesel, but we then drilled it with beans, then come and direct drilled straight into it. This wheat, you can see obviously the bean stubble sticking up and it looks amazing. It's proper, proper thick. And if we get another drought with it being strong land, but it's established really well, hopefully it shouldn't be too much affected by the drought, but it looks amazing. Straight out the horse's butt, straight into the spreader today. See if you can guess what that guy does with that reg. This is our Calibrate on JCB. Right, we just, we got, we got the weights off the Zerion. So we're just gonna see how heavy they are. So, they're pretty heavy, so we'll put them on the way bridge and see. Right, lift them on the bridge now. So place your bets now, what they're gonna weigh. If you wanna know what they weigh, find out at the end of the program. See what the Zerion looks like naked now with no weight on the back. Go around the corner a bit and see the better. There you go. You see them pegs that are sticking up? You've got, you've got three pegs there. That's where if you have a swivel cab kit on, the cab swivels around and sits on like Adams was yesterday when he was chipping. Anyway, I'm off now to spray in the field. Um, I forgot to do it. Well, I didn't forget to do it because we've not got round to it yet. Fast track of Merlot are just there now. They're ready to set off behind me to spread muck behind. But I want to put the glyphosate on first because if you put the muck on the top, it shades the weeds and the spray won't kill the weeds because it'll land on the muck rather than the weeds. This field is all sprayed off now, so it's got a bit of a cover crop on it and quite a bit of volunteers, mainly wild oats from the other year when we unsuccessfully grew sunflowers on it. Anyway, there's just a couple of load of muck just tipped there, so the sun's starting to set now on the muck spreader. Gonna, well, another load after this, and then there's another field to go to as well. In the winter, we were just looking at fields that were dry to tip on when, we, um, when it was raining, so there's little bits everywhere that we tried or failed or found a dry spot. Not sure if we'll be able to find it, but a few years ago, I parked here, took a picture and said Valentine's Day with the one I love and it was the other Bateman. This field had a cover crop that was sown pretty early 
and you can see it's quite dead now the, the, the frost killed it off you can see some look like the buckwheat pods and things not buckwheat sorry tillage radish I think it was mustard and everything so but still the grass weeds in the bottom so glyphosate should finish them off now today when I come through the birthday bump I thought hold on handy these hoodies today when I come through the birthday bump I thought it's going to be massive because it's gone up by nearly 300 pounds anyway there was a huge donation from Paul James Fitchson so thank you very much for that but happy birthday Harry Hansen is 16 Michael Howie is 29 Charlotte Wardman is 16 Paul James Fitzmaurice not sure how old but happy birthday Simon Ward Rosie says happy Valentine's Day don't forget if you haven't wished your girlfriend happy Valentine's Day on the pump pack you've still got time to buy them a hoodie before midnight um, Mark Brennan's birthday Jez Desmond is 43 Jim Stokes is 54 Carla Smith Tony Dowling Gareth Pendleton's 18 and someone's put Joe Seals on it I haven't spoke to Joe today but happy birthday Joe and happy birthday anyone else if it's your birthday and you're not on the birthday bumper so the lads were chasing me out the last field they've now caught me up again in this one so they're just going to spread that pile that's over there on here just look at this though what the roots have been doing with the with the mustard that's all snotting horrible make me smell but basically this has gone in really deep and made big holes you see there see where the tillage radish and the mustard and just look at this maybe this has still got some seed in but i think it yeah it's shed see the red seeds down there now this will be beans hopefully it'll look good another amazing sunset as well just got out because Andrew wasn't sure if there was a, a nozzle block. Look at the size of the roots on that, it's like a turnip. It's massive. Um, yeah, I'd say they've gone down and done tillage for us. Put them on there. And that's what I was kidding. <laughs> Some of it's been eating them though. I missed it, but the bird flew off over there, landed in them brambles, then flew off again. And it was a bit smaller than a duck, not a lot, but bigger about the size of a partridge but it had like a like a duck shaped head and a long beak but like longer than a duck i don't know whether it would be a woodcock I'm not sure well that's me folded up heading back to the yard now but look at this so i was going to leave you with that sky but i thought i'd show you how heavy the weights were on the zerion now there we go so they weigh is that it oh 2.4 ton <laughs> What did you say? 2.8? 2.3? 2 2.5? Pretty heavy then, aren't they? Just a massive lump of steel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.